Welcome to the homework for lesson 21. This is module two of first grade. And your name goes right here. Take care of that first. Olivia and Jake both solve the word problems. Write the strategy used under their work. Check their work. If incorrect, solve correctly. If solved correctly, solve using a different strategy. All right, so here are the strategies listed. We can take from 10. We can make 10. That's usually for addition. Take from 10 is a subtraction strategy. Making 10 to add, that's addition. Counting on. You can count on for addition or subtraction. And I just knew. <coughs> Sometimes that's if you remember, hopefully you've been practicing your, your, um, your math facts and you can remember some of these math facts and you don't have to count on or make 10 or take from 10 or use those mental tricks to figure out what the differences or the sums are. But don't rely on I just knew as a, as a main strategy because you have to show how you knew somehow, even if you just knew. Uh, a fruit bowl had... 13 apples. Mike ate six apples from the fruit bowl. How many apples were left? So here's Olivia's work. Here's Jake's work. And we're going to see if they're both right. All right. So let's see. Olivia's work. She had 13 minus 6. And she says it equals 4. Okay, so let's see the 13, she split up into a 10 and a 3. She's going to take from 10. When she takes 6 away from the 10, she's got 4 left. But what about this 3 here? It's just left hanging in space. So this 4 is left, but don't forget these 3. So she, that's what she did. She forgot those 3. So we're going to fix hers. And we're going to do that using the same strategy. This is take from 10. And we're going to show how to do our strategy the right way. So it's 13 minus 6. And this time we're going to do just what she did. 10, 3. But if we're going to draw a picture of it, we need to draw the 10 and the 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we need also need the 1, 2, 3. That's what she didn't do. She didn't draw everything when she crossed out. And if we take 3, if we take the 6 from the 10, right, it's going to be 4 left. It's 5 and 1 more. So we have this 4 plus that 3, which is 7. So it equals 7. And that's pretty much what you need to have to show Olivia's work, <clears throat> to show her how to do it right. Now, Jake's work, let's see if he got it. We know the answer is 7 now. And he had 7 for an answer. So it looks like 6 plus, and he looks like he counted up. And he looks like here he made a 10, right? That's 6 plus 4, that's a combination to 10. So he made that, and he said, okay, I need 4 here, and then I need 3 more to make 13. So he made the rest of his 10, and he counted up 3 more to make to make the 13, and he put the 4 and the 3 together to make 7. So he made 10, right? So that, of our strategies to use, he made 10. When he kind of counted on, did he count on to? We can just count on. We can do that. <clears throat> so let's see. We could use a different strategy. We could just draw a picture, right? So if he starts with 6, let's see. We can start with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right. And we'll make these a different color. Just so we can show that that's the first 6. 
right? And then we have to, what do we have to add on? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now you can see there's the four and there's the three that he added, right? So we counted on, right? Because we counted on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Count on. We counted on using a math picture. And to explain our strategy below, that's what we're just going to write. Uh, I counted my picture. That's my explanation. Next page. Drew has 17 baseball cards in a box. He has eight cards with Red Sox players, and the rest are Yankees players. How many Yankees player cards does Drew have in his box? So here's Olivia's work. She's got 17 minus 8 equals 9, and she drew... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So she drew ten, and then she drew seven. Ten, seven, that's seventeen. So she has what she's supposed to have. She crossed out eight, five, and three more. She crossed out eight, and then she just counted what's left. <coughs> All right, and now let's look at Jake's work. Uh, so this looks fine. So we'll have to find another strategy to solve for that. Uh, let's look at Jake's work and see if he got it right. 17 plus 8 equals 25. So it's looking like he counted up. So he drew 17 and then he counted up 8 more to get to 25. Well, this doesn't really make sense, does it? Because how can... How many Yankee player cards does Drew have in his box? If he only has 17 cards in the box, he can't have 25 Yankee cards. Because the answer has to be smaller than 17. Because some of them are Red Sox players and some of them are Yankee players, right? So it has to be less than 17. It can't be more than 17. So uh, Jake's counting on there doesn't work. So if, if Jake is going to count up, He should be counting up from 8 and adding something to make 17. He shouldn't be adding 8 and 17 together. He should be figuring out what he needs to add to 17. So let's fix his strategy here. So if he starts with 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is what, and let's label this picture. These are Red Sox players, right? R for Red Sox. And then he needs to add Yankee players. That's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. These are Yankee players. Y. So how many Yankee players? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it's 5 and 4 more. 9. And this is counting on. Counting on from 8 to 17 to figure out how many, what the difference is between the two. Uh, so now, let's fix. So we fixed his strategy. Uh, now let's fix Olivia's. Let's look at Olivia's. And now, since she got it right, we got to figure out a different way for her to do it. So she's subtracting. We're going to take from 10. Right? Because that's one of the strategies from the first page. We can take from 10. Make 10 is an addition strategy. We're not doing that. Count on her. I just knew. She, it looks like she counted on with pictures. We're going to take from 10. 
using number bonds. So she, if we're going to do 17 minus 8 equals something, the 17 is 10, 7, right? And then we take 8 from that 10. There's going to be 2 left. 2 plus 7 equals 9. Question mark is 9. Or you could just write, change this question mark and make it a 9 like that. I, in this strategy here, the strategy choice, I used take from 10 with with number bonds.